Welcome everyone to Web Design and Development course. This video is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. Coming up next are the prerequisites in this lesson. We have the MAP server, Apache server, Sublime Text Editor, localhost 8888, and htdocs folder. These applications and folders should be active in your machine at the background. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs, and these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. The intent of this video is to show you how to apply the bold, italics, and underline tags in HTML. And we are now in section 2.4. So there are two more tags that come in useful, which are the bold and italic tags. They are quite easy to use. Here are the bold tags. And here are the italic tags. The text you want to change goes between the two tags, as you can see in the example here. So if you have the opening tag B, then the title inside or the text inside, and the closing tag B, then opening tag I and the text in between, and the closing tag, I. If you want bold and italic text, then you can nest the two tags. So this is the principle of nesting. They should not cross over. You can have it the other way around, though, with the I tags first. So you can interchange as long as it doesn't cross over. Be careful of this, however. As you can see, they're not in parallel, the I and B tags. So this is a mismatched pair of tags. The two tags on the inside are B and I, and the ones on the outside are I and B. Modern browsers will probably correct the mismatch. So let's give it a try. Go to your htdocs folder and locate my first page.html, then open it in Sublime Text. So once you have opened it, we'll be able to apply the bold and italic tags in Sublime Text. As you can see, it will save sublime text after you add those information there and we can view the result in the browser so it's there that looks good so we have another useful tag which is the underline tag so it's actually opening and closing you tag and in between is your text you can nest all three tags, bold, italics, and underline. All this nested HTML code can be a bit messy. However, the modern solution is to use something called cascading style sheet. Using a style sheet allows you to do all your text formatting in the head section, or better yet, in an external file. You'll see how to do all this shortly. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at HTML list. So for today's web quest, we'll search about nested HTML elements. Thank you for watching this video.